back. I'm here now with Derek Anderson, student at Tracy High School, who has come to talk to us about his guitar and his guitar playing. Good to have you on the show, Derek. Good to have you, too. Hey, thanks. Or, so, Yeah, good to be on the show. Excellent, excellent. Uh, you're a student at uh, Tracy, correct? Yeah. And what, uh, what grade are you in? Tenth. Tenth. Awesome, awesome. So uh, you got yourself a little axe there, as we like to call it in the uh, guitar world parlance, correct? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. How long have you been playing guitar for? Um, three, four years, I don't know. Okay, did you play instruments before that? I played the flute and tried playing the drums, but I failed miserably on that one. So you found something that maybe uh, just you took to right away. Yeah, I, I took to this right away because like, my dad has been playing and my brother also plays oh. as well, so it's kind of like... I grew up around it. Right. Well, that makes sense. So then you kind of had some influences, and they can kind of show you some things and encourage you. And Yeah. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. So uh, uh, tell us about the guitar you have right there. This is an All-American Fender Deluxe Stratocaster. Very expensive. Very mm -hmm. good. I love this guitar to death. I never saw it. It's probably, probably the one thing that I'll keep with myself for my whole life. Nice. Never get rid. You just add. You add to the collection. You never get yeah. rid of them, ever. 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 So tell us about your setup there. You got a three pickup, uh, you know. Well, I got the Noiseless Sumerian Cobalt nice. pickup with the S1 switching system. And you got your traditional five uh, switch right. right here. Nice. And you got your two tone. What about, do you have a string preference there? Um, Ernie Ball nines. Nice. Yeah. Nice standard. Rich sound. Standard. For Fender. Yeah. You, know, you don't want to go too custom. Yeah. Plus, I just love the tone that I can get from the, the super slinky nickel. Yeah. That on the Ernie Ball 9s. That's some sweet sound, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, tell us a little bit about your, your, uh, your head and your cabinet, your, uh, your amp there. Well, it's a boutique style, which pretty much means uh, homemade. Nice. It took a really long time to make, like probably about a year. Now, did you make this out of matches and uh, duct tape you had laying around the house? No, we, oh. we used um, really nice wood, like to get the resonation. Right. Like Fender, they'll use like either ash or alder wood for right. the bodies, because mm -hmm. it has like the best re resonation and they make sure it's dried out. Right. Like, if you've noticed, the ones that were made in China, they're they're all like, Wet wood still, and it's like you don't really get that good resonation. Nah, you're going for price mostly on those kinds of things. But yeah. it sounded like now, this, was this something that you you had built with your dad, or who was involved in, in building uh, it? Just him. Oh, okay. He kind of put that together for you. It was him, for him originally. It was like, no, it's mine now. Oh wow, sweet. He passed down something sweet to you. It's it's nice to have something like that. You know, anyone can go into a store and buy a Marshall half stack. Whoop de do. But when you have something that's been handmade, you know that's that's a real special thing. Like the guitar, you can keep that for kind of ever, and it, it's going to have a sound that you're not going to get out of any other amp that exactly. someone could just buy from Sam Ash or Guitar Center or whatever. Exactly. Like that. So it kind of makes gives you that real custom sound, you know. Do you yeah. really do you, do you like playing through that amp? Um, I don't play through it very often because I don't really go and perform very often. Mm -hmm. I usually just play without the amp, just in the living room, around, just in the living room, watching TV, just be like, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Kind of like you're playing Guitar Hero, but you're using a real guitar. Pretty much. Yeah. Sweet. Just be like they red, should have colors yellow, on that green, on, on yeah. the fretboard, right? Yeah, yeah I don't know. No, I, I like the rosewood neck. Nice. Color. Yeah, there's always an option, you know, go with the dark wood and everything like that. Yeah, there's rosewood and then there's the maple wood, right. which is the lighter the color lighter one. Wood. Yeah, I, I kind of go back and forth. You know, sometimes like with the dark body, I like the rose. Sometimes I like the maple. So yeah, I've got, I've got the tobacco ash um, yeah. sunset painting yeah. on it. Nice. The, there's a movie, I don't know, maybe someday down the road you'll get to see. It's called This is Spinal Tap. You might want to check that out. It's about uh, rock and roll. Just just tuck that away up here. <laughs> that a couple sounds years. kind of painful. No, you're, you're going to enjoy it. It's all about rock and roll. It's a satire, so it's uh, it's funny. and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. There's a yeah. whole sequence about guitars. You'll yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Now, you're here today to uh, to play a little a little bit for us by a, an American guitarist by the name of Jimi Hendrix. Precise, but n no cigar. I was going to play Little Wing by Jimi Hendrix, but not the Jimi Hendrix version. 
see um, a big idol of mine, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yes, he took, SRV. Yeah. yeah, he took uh, Jimi Hendrix's Little Wing and not just that one, a bunch of other songs by him. Mm -hmm. And he kind of transformed them and smoothed them out and kind of made them better. Mm -hmm. So I was going to play the Stevie Ray Vaughan version. Ah, well, uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan is heralded amongst guitar heroes. He is. Yeah. No longer with us, but uh, his music does live on. So uh, you're going to play. Tragedy. Yeah, yeah, bummer. But guys like you are here to play his music and uh, kind of carry that on and then create something of your own down the road, right? Yeah. And maybe like 20, 30 years down the road, some guy will be like, yeah, I played this Derek Anderson piece. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sweet. All right, so whenever you're ready, kick it off for us. Dreams could be so beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Derek, and uh, best of luck to you. Hope to see you around sometime. All right, folks, uh, stick around because there's more show coming right your way.